Hey everyone, I'm Kevin with Victory 4x4. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the installation of our dash accessory mount in this 2022 Toyota Tundra. Now our panel is gonna mount here in the center of the dash, basically in place of this factory storage compartment. So we're gonna to need to get that removed. You can start by grabbing a plastic pry tool and just kind of work it under the back edge here. You could also do this with a flat screwdriver very carefully, just try not to scratch any of this plastic or damage the dash. Once you get that pulled up just a little bit, you can kind of get your thumb under there and just pull straight up. That'll release these tabs and then just kind of carefully pull back to release the bottom three tabs. So then you're gonna to need to remove the factory 12 volt plug from this. I'm gonna kind of spin it around so you can maybe see that. I'm gonna start by just disconnecting this wiring connector there's a little tab that can be pressed with either a flat screwdriver or you might be able to get it with your finger and then just carefully pull those two apart you can just let the vehicle side wire harness kind of hang down in there for now and we'll get it removed here from the storage compartment so to get this removed it's just got a couple locking tabs here on the back one top and bottom small flat screwdriver you should be able to kind of just push down on this tab while also pushing out on the plug and get that to pop free. And then you might just have to come down here to the bottom one and do the same in order to get this fully removed. And it'll just slide straight out like so. And then either now or while you're putting our mount in place, you can simply take that Pay attention to the orientation because we're going to have three little notches here in this center circle to account for each of those locking tabs as well as this little guide tab. And then you'll just drop it straight down in and press until you hear it snap. So since we're going to have to get in really close here to kind of try and show you what's going on down in this little cavity, I want to walk through a little bit about each mount and its location at this point. So this is going to be the front mounting bracket. It'll go in place basically as you see it here with the bottom tabs toward the rear of the vehicle, the top tabs with the nuts in place up and toward the front, and it'll kind of slide down in toward the front here. On the driver's side, there's gonna be a factory threaded hole. On the passenger side, you'll be installing a clip nut in place to bolt through that bottom hole. Then these are gonna be the two rear mounts. They're essentially a mirrored part. So they're gonna go in, for example, with this one, being the passenger side, basically straight down in this back right corner. Then there's gonna be two bolts down in there that need to be removed for you to reuse the factory hardware and bolt through our bottom mounting holes. And for that, you'll need a 10 millimeter socket. Now essentially, it'll be the same thing over here on the driver's side, however, using the mirrored bracket. And the easy way to kind of tell on these is they're gonna slant up and back toward the rear of the vehicle. And then these bottom flanges are gonna go in toward the center. So where I'm working right here is gonna be to install the driver's side rear mount. So again, I've got that 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna get the two screws down here removed. Then I can slide our mount down in place using that factory hardware and get it lined up and reinstall those bolts. Then you can move over to the passenger side and reinstall the passenger side rear mount using that exact same process. Then just in front of that passenger side mount, you're going to be looking for this black electrical connector. That's going to need to be removed from its slot. So this just has a couple little tabs that hold it in place on the bottom. I was able to just kind of reach around and get one of those pop free and then slide it to the side to release the other one. Go ahead and leave this intact because this will actually clip back into our bracket once it's bolted in place. So then you'll just grab one of the M6 clip nuts from your hardware pack and slide it just front to rear here into the slot that that connector was removed from and then just go ahead and pivot it over around the side. Then just drop the front mounting bracket down in place and get it lined up with that factory threaded hole on the driver's side, the clip nut here on the passenger side, and install 
the provided M6 button head bolts. Then you'll just need a four millimeter hex to tighten these up. Once those are tight, don't forget to snap that factory electrical connector into the slot here in our bracket. Now at this point, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and snap that factory 12 volt plug into our mount. Be sure to reconnect the factory wiring to that and then carefully place it down on top of the mounting brackets. Then you'll find the quarter 20 button heads and washers in your bolt pack. And then it's just a matter of lining this up with those mounting brackets, getting all of these started, and then tightening them up with a 5 30 seconds hex. So that'll do it for this installation. Now, if you guys have any questions about this, be sure to check out the install doc on our website, or you can always reach out to us. You can send us an email at info at victory4x4.com or give us a call at 269-459-8447. <laughs>